Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about solving word problems involving complementary and supplementary angles. Last time, nag-upload tayo ng video about this topic and pwede nyo siyang mapanood dito. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at i-hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, I'm Teacher Gon. Let's do this topic. Now, let us solve word problems involving complementary angles and supplementary angles. We are given the problem, the measure of two complementary angles. We have two complementary angles are the quantity of 2x plus 5 degrees and the other is x plus 4 degrees. Find the value of x. So to solve this problem, we need to remember that the definition of complementary angles are like this, it's like this one. Complementary angles the sum of their measurement is equal to 90 degrees. So, basically, para ba natin gagawin yung solution natin dito? All we need to do is to add this measurement. So, you have 2x plus 5 plus x plus 4 is equal to 90. So, why 90? Because the sum of the measurement of complementary angles is equal to 90 degrees or 90 and simplifying this or and removing your grouping symbols it will give you 2x plus x plus 5 plus 4 is equal to 90 combining like terms it will give you 3x and this one pag inad natin sila there is plus 9 is equal to 90 degrees and transposing 9 to the other side of the equation it will give you 3x is equal to 90 minus 9. And simplifying this, you have 3x is equal to 81. Then divided by 3, your x is equal to 27. This is the value of x for problem number 1. So let's move on with item number 2. For item number 2, the measure of two supplementary angles are 3x plus 15 degrees and, 3, and 2x plus 5. Find the value of x and the measure of the two angles. So we are given the clue that the angles are supplementary, meaning the sum of their measures is equal to 90. So basically, copy this, 3x, 3x, plus 15 plus 2x plus 5 is equal to 180 and removing the grouping symbols this will give you 3x plus 2x plus 15 plus 5 is equal to 180 and combining like terms this will give you 5x eto naman is plus 20 is equal to 180 and transposing this to the, to the other side of the equation this will become 5x is equal to 180 minus 20 so basically this is 5x is equal to 160 now dividing your equation by 5 your x is simply 30 this is the value of x in the problem. Now, we are not yet done because we're still asked for the measure of the two angles. And remember, the first angle, so let's try naming that as first angle, is represented by 3x plus 15 degrees. Now, to find the value of the first angle, all you need to do is to substitute the value of x here. To this expression. So, ang gabi natin dito, substituting the value of x, that is the quantity of 3 times 32 plus 15 degrees. And simplifying this, it will give you 96 plus 15 degrees. And for the final value of your first angle, that is 96 plus 15, 111 degrees. So 
the value of the first angle is if simply 111 degrees. Now, for the second angle, that is represented by 2x plus 5 degrees, and substitute natin itong value ng x, which is 32. So that is 2 times 32 plus 5 degrees. Pag sinimplify natin yan, that is 44, sorry, that is 64 plus 5 degrees. And your second angle is simply 69 degrees. Now, we prove natin that these two measurements can form a supplementary angles. So, add natin sila. We know naman na that is 111 plus 69 is equivalent to 180 degrees. So, 180 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. Therefore, the value of x is 32. The first angle is 111 degrees. And the measurement of the second angle is 69 degrees. So let's move on with the last example that we have here in this tutorial in solving complementary and supplementary word problems. So we are given an, an illustration wherein since the two angles can form a straight angle or a linear pair, therefore, these two angles are supplementary. So when we add them, that is equivalent to 180 degrees. So basically, guys, to find the value of x, all we need to do is to add x and 118, that is equivalent to 180 degrees. So basically, transpose natin to dito. It will give you x is equal to 180 minus 118. And simplifying this, x is equal to, what is the answer? The answer is 62. This is the value of x in given problem for number 3. So, I hope you learned something from this video on how to solve word problems involving complementary and supplementary angles. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit the bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, I am Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!